This month, the Paralympic Sport TV team visited the IPC headquarters in Bonn. The International Paralympic Committee is the global governing body of the Paralympic movement. The IPC organizes the Summer and Winter Paralympic Games and serves as the International Federation for Nine Sports. A few days ago, the IPC Governing Board concluded its 49th meeting at the headquarters in Bonn, Germany. We were there on our first official mission and used the opportunity to talk to Paralympic athletes and contributors to the Paralympic movement. Hello, I'm Philip Craven, I'm President of the International Paralympic Committee and welcome to Paralympic Sport TV. The IPC also met with the recently announced Paralympian ambassadors. The 11 past and present Paralympic athletes raise awareness for the Paralympic movement and are raw models for young people with and without disability. One of them is Henry van Jucke and his guy Joseph, whose story and message are more than inspiring. Life is a marathon because it's up and down. You are strong and after a few kilometers you feel, oh, it's becoming tough. A few kilometers like that, kilometers you feel like you feel to quit out of the marathon. But you feel like you have hit the wall. But if you have the determination, you have the courage to keep going. I think the message um, the message for Paralympic athletes or for athletes with a disability who are just getting involved in sport is to stick with it. Um, I know in my sport in wheelchair racing, it really takes at least five years, sometimes five to ten years to achieve the level of expertise in which you can go out and compete at an international level. It doesn't happen overnight. During a seminar at the IPC headquarters, the ambassadors got to know each other and took part in a media training to test their interview skills. As a motivational speaker, Chris Vadell is one of the more experienced athletes. Sort of the interesting part of the ambassador is, and I've, I've done this at one games, I did it in Torino, where I was able to work with, I'm essentially I'm bringing around some of the dignitaries, some of the, introducing potential sponsors to the sports, and really working to help people understand what we do, how we do it, and why it might be appealing to the general audience. One part of the governing board meeting was attended by Lord Sebastian Coe, chairman of the London 2012 organizing committee who spoke to us about the upcoming Paralympic Games. When we bid to stage the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Singapore we were very clear that of course we wanted to stage great sport that enthused and excited and engaged particularly young people but we were also very clear that we wanted the story only to start at the end of 2012 and not just be really something that finished at that point. The games themselves though, I like to call them the sleeper. Everybody is, tends to focus on the Olympic Games just before the Paralympic Games. It, it's true in Canada, there's lots of media attention, lots of promotion. I think when spectators and the media fully become engaged in the Paralympic Games, that'll open their eyes and also their hearts to the experience and what, uh, what the athletes actually showcase, especially their athletic talents. The Paralympic Games to me are the parallel Olympics. They are similar but different, close but unique. And I think some of the standout characteristics of the Paralympic movement is the entire, the whole message that we can give the world of overcoming challenge. We are looking forward to a great year full of captivating moments, including the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games. Sir Philip Craven tells us why the Games are not to be missed by anyone. Well, if you love sport, you've got to be at the Paralympic Games. Great athletes, great sports, wonderful entertainment, and there's a special energy and synergy in the Paralympic Games between the athletes, between the spectators, 
and particularly with the volunteers. It's a really coming together of this incredible energy that we call the Paralympic spirit. You must not miss it because it's one of the high points of anybody's life to be there. That's it for now from the IPC headquarters. See you soon, Europe Olympic Sport TV team.